I'm watching. So we have somebody from no, Australia. We've gone global way. immediately. <laughs> okay, just a recap for the record. And um, there are a few people that have come online. Okay, just the record once again. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening around the world. I'm Simon and Monica's behind the camera painting in France, here in the south of France and we are doing another live video this morning, a very quick session, probably about an hour, um, and we'll be promoting our painting locations where we hope to be next summer. Um, today we are going to Mez, which is here, uh, a little village on the edge of a Mediterranean lagoon, beautiful place, this photograph was taken in February. And uh, we went down there in September with a small group and had a lovely day, didn't we? Just Great. a local group, wasn't it? Absolutely. It's yes. all we about, could do this year. 45 minutes away. Um, so, in that case, let's just get started. I mean, briefly, as you can see, I've done a drawing here, um, which is nothing like the photographs that I've sent you. <laughs> Mainly because the drawing I did ties in with the painting I did when I was actually there. So, um, it's a kind of... Compilation, an artistic compilation of the, the facts that we've got here. Basically, you've got this, this old tree here, and the kind of bay sweeps out across to the uh, set, S E T E, over there. And I did a combination of these two. I think uh, on the day I was actually stood, stood here, and I decided to miss this tree out completely. So I think that is this scene. This scene, so I've got like a nice little palm tree in the middle. Which is the palm tree actually on the, palm at tree the back, there, isn't it? The back there, yeah, you just about see it. And there's the rocks uh, to, to break the waves. Uh -huh. And then there's the beach. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've drawn this up very loosely with the 2B pencil. And you'll notice the super sharp line on the horizon. The rest is free freehand. I do like a sharp line, even though I'm going to be painting freehand up to it. So... Um, and just a quick one, yeah. you talking about you wanting a sharp line, is it, do you find that that helps with why? Yeah, well, often you'll see a wonderful painting with palm trees and beach and people and rocks, and then the horizon will be like this, or it'll be like this. And I go, no, no need. You don't have to paint along the ruler with, um, with a paintbrush and paint to get us. You just... It's just a guideline. It just helps have a pencil line quite sharp on your original painting, on the paper, canvas, whatever. Then you can paint free end up to it, which I will, and it just gives you a bit of a guideline. So it's still a loose line, but not really loose. So basically, as long as you get your horizon right, then yeah. nothing else will look too skew with. It does help. It does okay. help, yes. Yeah. All right. I mean, like I said, it's pretty key on this picture. There's other little things I've missed out, but anyway, let's, let's get started. What I'm going to do first... We have, just very quickly, we've got a few familiar faces, familiar and faces. we have a few new faces as well, so Excellent. yeah. welcome new faces. And welcome on old camera, faces. On the camera. And this will be a light-hearted hour um, of painting demonstration. You're more than welcome to take part in these, but um, also paint at your leisure over the weekend. And if you do have a go at the painting, do send me a copy and we'll put it up on a, on a, a sort of fun gallery after the weekend. Very quickly, before we've even started, we have a question. Yeah. Does the cold affect watercolour paints? Mine were in the little studio outside with no heating and they seem to be more watery. More watery? That surprised me. Maybe they've just been crying. That's probably what it is. I think that you, maybe they're... They've separated, because I think there's like a base in there, which like an oil, not, it wouldn't be an oil. Do you think base. it could be that they've literally frozen overnight, and as a result, they've, yeah. they've separated? Yeah, I'm report It's Rosie. The watercolour police. It's Rosie Strange. Yes, it's Rosie Strange. Rosie, I think you're, <laughs> going, you're going to have to find a nice warm place for your watercolours. Yes, I think. You might squeeze the tube up, t don't take the top off, squeeze the tube up and down a little bit, and that might just help mix it within the tube. That'll probably help. But uh, I guess they don't like being frozen. Who does? Who does? Anyway, contrary to popular belief, rather than doing the sky first, I'm actually going to do this kind of sandy colour first, which I'm going to keep it all very simple today with um, a good brush full of Naples yellow. I'm really on a huge here. Naples yellow, which is this kind of really kind of creamy, whitey, sandy yellowy colour. Well, like the colours of the buildings in Naples, I assume. Or is the colour the color of the beach, sure. Yeah. I don't know, good question. Maybe that was just made there. Or it's been uh, invented by Johnny Naples. Um, <laughs> Who was Johnny Naples? A rock star in the 70s, <laughs> Maybe, yeah. darling. <laughs> yeah, the sideline was watercolour painting. Okay, so yeah, what I often find, uh, I paint a lovely blue sky, 
rinse my brush out and then paint a lovely green beach instead of a yellow beach. So I thought, well, I'll do this time. I'll just kind of, uh, yeah, let's, I've got this kind of mixed up. I'm just going to put a, a nice kind of wash of this kind of Naples yellow over a real everything. Um, barring the sea, barring the sea and the sky. Uh, let's come down. Here. Otherwise, you'll end up with a green sea. Yeah, let's let's stop. A bit of a promontory sticking out there, and I might just add some other colours as we come round. So this is just literally giving that shape. And then, and then as it comes around, I didn't wet the paper. Maybe I should have. Uh, it's looking a bit dry, but then again, a little bit of texture on the beach is okay. So I've just literally put a quite a big loose wash. Of Naples yellow in. Um, I'm going to put one a little bit over here as well because there's kind of basic colour underneath kind of clips and there. Uh, okay. And actually, while I'm on it, I'm going to put a little bit of perhaps a bit of yellow ochre in there as well. <coughs> Excuse me, just to give it a little bit of a, a bit of character, a bit, bit of a swoosh. It'd be lovely to um, see where everybody who's watching is from today. Yeah, where are you from and how's the weather? <laughs> it's actually not looking dissimilar to the, to the photograph here today, although I think the weather forecast is grim um, for the weekend. I think it's only Tuesday. Okay, so I've, what I've done, I've just put a little bit of a wash of Naples yellow, and I've, while that's damp, I've put some yellow ochre, and now I'm just a little touch of such a burnt sienna, just to add another little something to the uh, tone. So the burnt sienna is that slightly browny colour? Yeah, that's right. Actually, I'm going to just take it a little bit into that. Very that's Italian it. with your colours today, darling. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is, it is. It's here, 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 it's here. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just lean back, have a coffee and let that dry. I'm going to dry that off quickly, then I can do the sky and the water. Okay. Ah, Holly, Holly Kersman is watching. She says, Hi, Monica and Simon. Greetings from just down the road. Just down the road. How's the weather just down the road? Probably similar to here. Okay, there we are. Finished. Uh, right, so we've got some basic colours in. I like to put the base colours on first and then we can get into some details. It's actually not going to be too complicated today, is it? Um, a few more locals today. Sarah, who was with us on our September, uh, yes. is in Perret, also down the road. Okay, yes. Same weather as us. Okay, so I hope they've all got their easels out and I'm poised to paint the view. Our international contingency, what's it looking like in your country? Uh, okay, right. I've got the kind of cerulean blue with a little touch of pathalo blue and a Mediterranean feel for the sky. And I'm just going to see if I can do this thing. That's better. Yeah. I'm just gonna, so it's always good to have a little bit of scrap paper on the side, and you can try your colour out before you you put it straight onto your paper with canvas and ruin it. So I'm going to just put this is yeah. Let's go here. This is a nice big. Brush. So again, you're doing a wet on dry. It's actually again. This is wet on dry mainly because I forgot to get it wet. It, it, getting the paper wet. It will kind of help your uh, gradated gradations. I mean, how long ahead do you wet it? Do you literally wet it, just give it a wash seconds before, or do you tend to wet it few, sort of five minutes, minutes before? Yeah, or? A few minutes is, is good. Okay. Uh, it just kind of dampens it, and then when the sheen, I said when the sheen has gone off it, you can um, paint it. Just so right. to kind of um, probably prepare the paper. I'm just going to leave it. So you don't want to be okay. doing it while the water's still sort of running down the page? No, that will end in tears. Unless you're looking for that certain effect. Yeah. I've actually, that's, I'm going to add a little bit more ser uh, pathalo blue to make it a little slightly darker mix now. And what, I'm just going to put a nice big swoosh, whoosh. Oh, there we are. I'm going to put a few big swooshes in there. This is that. Can I just show them there, sort of, the sky, yeah. which has, goes from darker to... Yeah, it tends to get like a, a bit of a gradation. I tend to go, I tend to skip doing clouds, but I'm just going to wipe... I've got a damp brush, I'm just wiping that back a bit. Maybe a little bit of Can you actually do clouds, Simon? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was away there, they taught us 
college, so I don't. You don't get don't much practice here, do you? Oh, yeah, that, oh, that's okay. You I do. Think we'll be right. you, you do get some clouds here. But I know, and you do love a good cloud. You're always taking like photographs of clouds. Should, yeah, I should do more. I'm just, while it's still damp, so you can sort of do that kind of thing. And then, just like your Christmas turkey, let it settle uh, before you start doing anything else. Well, glad um, to hear that the at Sunny in Somerset. Sunny in Somerset. A good alliteration. Ah, good. We like a good alliteration. Yes, indeed. Now, um, what you can't see on this photograph very well, thank great reference photographs, everybody. Thank, sorry about that. Uh, is I've got one here which I did earlier, like a classic TV program, and on the day you get this lovely kind of shimmery shininess in the sea. And it's a bit darker there. So what I'm going to try and do is to capture this very light, shiny, sparkly bit. Ooh, I like that. Like that. Mm. What it is, it's the same big brush, but it, it may all go horribly wrong, as usual. But it's kind of brushing it across when it's almost dry. So that really is meant to be wet on dry. Uh, yes, this is it. So okay. I'm going to start kind of with just a slightly richer colour. Um, just a bit more of that pathalo blue, for that Mediterranean lagoon feel. And I'm just going to take a deep breath and just put that in. So we've got um, Martin, Martin Brown John is oh, watching no, he's going to eat. from he's a finished. slightly more dismal, no, he said he's not painting today. Okay, all right, good. From a slightly more dismal Lancashire, he said he can't even play tennis, thank goodness for the banjo. Ah, well, thank goodness for the live tutorials from the south of France. Now, well done, come on, Martin. I've got to uh, okay. cover this. I've just, I've got a damp brush. I'm just going to spread that out a bit. This is a bit hit and miss, as you can see. But just by, what's with a damp brush, you just extend that colour over a little bit, maybe a little bit more there. So basically you started off with a, quite a lot of paint on the quite left hand side. I flicked it out. And then before then you it dried, dries, But you dried your brush after that, I didn't did. you? Yeah, okay. before, and I probably got a little bit too much in there, but... Right, let's just dab a little bit away there. See, we can always put a little bit more in. In fact, what I'll do, just put a little bit across there. It's, it's, it's just a touch you need, really, and then it kind of comes down. Still actually, with that dry brush, you get a nice kind of... It actually onto effect. the sand, so you kind of get almost that sense of... That's right, well Ooh. spotted. Camera person. Um, I'm just looking at the, actually the photograph, it is a bit darker in there as well, so I'm going to put a little bit more dark. Okay, <coughs> can we go back to the photograph for a second? Yeah, this is like, the, actually well, on the day, on this day when it was in the summer, there was like a very kind of sparkly sunlight coming across here from the, what do you call it, peninsula? Um, it's, ooh. Yes. I guess we're set. Yeah. It's not an island, is it? No, um, it's not. But as you can see, there's a few little, there's a few kind of darker areas as well. So let me just try, if you just let me move. I've got a slightly darker tone. I'm just going to put... Ooh. Footstep Ooh. ceremonies. Um, when will be the next one so I can be prepared? We'll be doing one in two weeks again. So at the moment, uh, yeah. it's every second Tuesday. Look at that, see, I've gone. I've actually gone over the pencil line for the horizon. Oh, so, it's not straight. It's not straight anymore. But Your sea has a swell. <laughs> exactly, it's a swell sea. Um, I'm going to just perhaps just leave that. Now, what I might do is just come back with a little bit of white gouache at the very end and let that dry off. And then I'll just retouch that. So, in the meantime, that's got a hint of sea. I think if, if you start going a bit streaky like that, I'm just going to put a damp brush on and just, just blend it a little bit. For anybody who is watching, if you haven't, um, if you don't follow us on our Facebook page, it's a good idea to do so because um, we always put the dates of when the lives are going to be on our Facebook page together with the drawing and That's the right. reference, photographs. reference photographs. So, theoretically, that's how it works. Um, and you normally give people <coughs> what a, a few days' notice at least. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it's, you're more than welcome. I'll, I'll get into a bit of a routine, and then every, uh, at least a few days before the, we do the painting, I'll send out some drawings and some reference photographs. So if you like to have a go painting now, with your morning coffee or glass of wine, 
then that would be great. You know, otherwise, of course, you'll be able to watch the video again uh, later, uh, at your leisure. Um, but we're also doing an edited version onto the YouTube, our YouTube channel, which I'll give you more details about later on as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we have the sky, we have the beach roughed in, and I'm going to now tackle these distant hills with a little bit of, it's kind of bluey greeny mix, so I think a bit of, perhaps a bit of sap green, yes, yeah, sap green and cerulean blue, oops, <laughs> with a bit of grey, I'll put too much in. Well this is why it's good to uh, practice on a piece of paper first, I'm just literally, uh, I'm trying to get these. Now that's a bit of a dirty mix. It is a bit of a dirty mix, so try not to get this on camera. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go across these. I, I just, that's almost a bit too strong. I'm going to put the trees in on top. He says, continuing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just dilute that a little bit. It's a kind of, it's a sort of bluey, grey, greeny mix. Is what we want. That's that's better. And it kind of, and by, by instead of just doing a flat line, I think it's always nice just to have. A Maybe you just of, go in for a bit more detail. Yeah, a little bit of. A little bit of structure, you can hinting at the sort of light areas down by the beaches. And there's actually a, I did put a building in it. I forgot about that. Okay, that's just, you know, just so it gets that kind of, the hint of distant land. I mean, this one's even further away. Okay, so those are literally those little, those real kind mountains of distance right in, the in there. Oh, yeah. Sort of there, this, you can sort of see them beyond there. It's quite dark there, but. But that's it again. <coughs> no, that was around this oh, way. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so now, yeah, just over here, I'm just going to put the, just a little bit of that kind of greeny mix. Yeah. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, it is a beautiful it's scene. Light, it's, but let me just try and move it's the, not, in the shadows here, aren't not far away from us, about 40 minutes away, and it's one of the um, locations we use on our, our painting weeks, and it is gorgeous. It's a really little pretty little town as well. Definitely worth it, a lovely market. <laughs> okay, I've just, I've just put this kind of bluey, greeny, grey mix on there. And I'm just going to just blend that a little bit uh, down to the, down to the water line. So, Angeli Theodorus has said, oops, yeah. just dipped into my coffee. We've uh, all done that, uh, haven't we? Always happens, yes. And um, she said, could we put some rose or or alizarin, al al alizarin in the um, foreground? Could we? Yes, why not? Uh, I probably won't, I didn't do it myself, but I'm kind of conservative sort of painted, but I mean, by all means, you know, if you, if you can see, it, there is a little bit of pinky, there will be the shadows I'm, I'm gonna be painting in, so they might be a bit more pinky, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put there and there. But you won't be doing that a little bit later, will you? A little bit later, yeah. I think that's, that's got that. And while that's drying off, I'm going to get a little bit of um, the same sort of the kind of rocky mix. We've got this sort of grey, greyish brown. Once again, trying out lots on the. Uh, oh, this is quite, see, these are the rocks here, look. I'm just going to try and. Um, there's two, actually, two banks of those. I'm going to put just into that. Can I get a gimbal for Christmas, please? Certainly, yes. We'll get <laughs> it, one, it, yeah. sounds, it sounds it does it sounds almost rude, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a gimbal is a it's yeah. almost like a little mini steady cam for um to hold the the mobile phone so I can get all my sort of transitions smooth. That's what we need. Yes, yeah, so I'm literally just putting a just a hint of a shape of of the rocks Rocks here, we've got a tree we're going to do. I'm going to come back and put a bit more detail in there as well. Um, round here, we can go, let's put a little, little swoop of shadow. I kind of like a little bit more grey in there, I think. Oh, not too much. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a swoosh of grey with a bit of, a little bit of magenta mix in there. That could well be where you're... Your I was going to say, could the alizarin go in there? Yeah, let's have a look. 
an so eye. it's quite a it's quite a hefty red i'm just gonna are you going to tone it down a bit um, i'm just gonna or are you gonna be brave? i'm gonna try um let's just come back here i'm gonna i can always wipe it back and that's a bit strong isn't it but this is, is a, that <laughs> yeah let's keep moving what what i'm going to do is just try and get a little bit of something going on here Let's just, uh, that's all right. Wait till that comes, that'll sort of fade away. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. One often feels like with watercolour that, that when you put your first stroke of colour on, it's a disaster, but it does tend to fade down a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it will, that, that'll, that'll be fine. I mean, I think, why don't we just blend that around a little bit? Because that'd be my hesitation. I, you know, I find... I would probably make everything a lot softer as a result because yeah. I'm s s scared of kind of overdoing it. No, for sure, yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> it, would, it wouldn't have been my first choice of move either, putting a big, big swoosh in like that. But if you do put a big swoosh in, um, you know, be ready to, with a damp brush, just to kind of tone it back a little bit. But it, it does, it, it is exciting to do that now and again. And I think it does emphasise the... The light and shade. I mean, we're going to have the trees here, and I might have a bit of dappled shade coming in across there as well. You know, so I think we're we're we'll be fine. But what I'll do, I'll just dry that off. You got an extension cord today, darling. An extension, yeah. Look at that. I can go over here. And I can go down here. Right here, you go a bit. Oh. There <laughs> Almost <are>. there. Almost there. <clears throat> because I've got a few little branches over here because I'm just having a drink. Hannah, I've just realised that if I turn, I mustn't turn the camera too much because suddenly people are going to be looking looking at our underwear on the um, uh, on underwear. the clothes source oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please, um, a word of the, uh, the people who set this up. Now, I've got in my drawing, I think I've hinted at a few little um, palm trees back there. And what I'm going to do is... Let's have a look at this one. Let's see what I did earlier. In fact, in this in this painting, I actually put in some kind of little pine trees, which is quite nice too. But in the photograph down here, I spotted some little palm trees, so I'm going to try putting those in. So we've we've got a little bit of something going on in the background, and we're going to put these some of these trees in. I think now that's quite nice, isn't it? That's it's the uh, the oyster beds. It is. The Mediterranean palm, I mean, palms, Mediterranean pines are quite special as well, aren't they? Yeah, they, yes. They really are beautiful, sort of kind of gnarly. Yeah, so I've got a slightly smaller brush now. This is the number eight. And what I'm going to do is just put these, just put these kind of... We can't quite see what you're doing. No, don't worry. I'll put try and a, get in. I'm going to put a couple of palm trees in. I'm weird that that far around. I might put another one in just to make because it looks kind of weird. Put one a bit closer there. Bit and of that's, artistic license. That's the word, that's the word. And while I'm at it, I'm going to paint the kind of lighter tones of this, this one here as well. So by now, you can do this as long as your, your water's dry. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take it, for composition wise, it's good to just take it above that. That, that line, the horizon okay. line, just to kind of make it a bit more obvious that it's in front. You're kind of um, almost doing a sort of a spiral on the sort of... Yeah. I'm rather trying, than just doing a line down. Yeah, I mean, if you look at them, I mean, there's one a bit closer. They have got that kind of quite bizarre trunks. Yeah. To sort of, I guess that was the smooth bit, and then it's, these are the leaves they've lost over the years. Um, so now, I think what we'll do... I didn't do anything on the building. Should I do anything on the building? I'm not, I can leave that to the very end. But what I'll do now, I've got some quite intense green. I'm going to get some, my favourite, sap green, just to kind of get that shape. And you want to just, just be a little bit careful painting, painting palm trees there. Just kind of, they do sort of radiate out. So you're getting, you're sort of almost flicking from the middle out, aren't you? Yeah. To give that... Yeah, what people tend to do is give them a kind of 
Sid Vicious look, a very spiky or very, yeah. just like an explosion, but they kind of... So they mustn't look too much like it's a firecracker that's gone exactly, off. Exactly, yeah. I mean, like, so let's see if we can do a bit, probably a bit more obvious here. What did I do last time? Um, oops. Yeah, you see, on this one, you can see it's a bit more random. So you start light and then put a few dark shadows in. So it's quite good having, um, having a drawing. So I'm just going to literally just... You do sort of just flick it. I mean, they're fascinating. This, I tend to do slightly formulaic. I tend to do the, the kind of central strand. I'm sure there's many, many ways of doing palm trees online, but then I'm just sort of literally just flicking, flicking away. But using little bits of different pressure and stuff so that that exactly, doesn't yeah. start looking like a kid's palm tree. Yeah, you can't, it doesn't want to look too fixed really. So sometimes you just do one side, sometimes that. Um, and just to slowly build it up, just flicking that out there. You can always add more to a palm tree, but if you start going up here, you're in trouble. So I'm just going to, that's a little bit wet there. Okay. That's just almost... That's looking like a palm tree. Do I? Do I? Yeah. Not too bad, is it? Yeah. So I'm just going to let that dry. And, and what we'll do now, so we've got that, the first layers of the trees in, and we've got the first layers. I'm going to strengthen these rocks up a little bit with them, um, with some bolder, sort of dark browny grey colour. Because get those, get those shadows in nice and strongly on the rocks and it's, it tends to look, it'll be more of a, a sunny day. So we leave in some light areas as well and just sort of bring in that in. It's almost a bit too black. But, um, more brown. I mean, they're kind of quite random, but yeah. they're blocky as well. Do you know what I mean? This is actually something that we've probably not told people, but this is actually a, a very large lagoon, isn't it? It's like, which runs into the Mediterranean. It is. I've just sold it as a, a day trip to the seaside, the Mediterranean beach. Lip. But go on. It, it tells it's, it. it's called the um, Etang de Tao, and it's a massive um, oyster. Production. They produce a lot of um, mussels and oysters in these big lagoons. There are a series of them sort of running up the coast and they really are quite beautiful. They are, aren't they? Massive, I mean they are big. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. It's in that kind of same kind of brownie grey, <coughs> excuse me, colours. Just going to um, add a little bit of shape. It's a little bit wet, really. Yeah, I might come. I've just dabbed a little bit of darker on one side, but I'm going to come back to it. But what I will do is just have a little bit of something going on. Just say to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Martina um, has been saying she's. I've been following, but not been on face. Book much lately as we've moved to Madeira. Oh, what a lovely to yeah. hide away from the UK, miserable weather and lockdowns. Uh, I'll right, treat myself cool. to some paints and watch this later. Yeah, good idea. Just so now I've got a little bit of. Well, in Madeira, she can. It, it almost feels like she'd be. Yeah, it can't. It must be quite similar. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I need a, a glass of sherry. Now. I'm just going to stop my uh, <laughs> local you, course. You, you got a little frog in your throat. <laughs> Anyway, so now this rather bold colour I swooshing down here, which is now fading, thankfully, a little bit back, which was a kind of, uh, it's a kind of magenta and Payne's grey watery mix. I've just made a slightly stronger version of that. And I'm going to put in some, just put some shadows in at the back here, that kind of thing. Or maybe even down here as well. So it's quite... Just have that going to make sure we go to the the Maybe base. Zoom in a bit again as well. Let's hint at a little bit of shape. Oh, there we are, that's good, right? So if you start, yeah, now we're getting that. Oh, it's going to be a, it's quite a high sunny day. Um, I'm going to put some more detail in there. 
and around the back of here. But that's kind of taking shape. Oh, why not? I don't know, I'll put them. Um, while I've got this, I'm going to put a little bit of um, strong shadow in from this tree down here. Let me just zoom across to our image yeah, again, we've got just so that people. These trees, they've got some very strong shadows going on. So I'm just going to put a. This one's looking a little bit. Now we should have got another tree going on because there's only, only this one. But what I'm going to try and do is perhaps just. Lightly, a slightly damp brush, just a hint at some... Would it be too late if you decided, you know, you were painting at home, you decided at this stage that you wanted to draw another tree? I suppose it would be, wouldn't it, because you've got the blue here and you couldn't really... Yeah, although it's... it's with the trees in the foreground, they're, they're stronger mix of paint, so yeah. you could effectively paint it on quite dark brown and then... <clears throat> Mix a bit of white gouache in with your paint. To Just make do. Paint. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you know, you could. It's obviously best if you can just uh, keep things um, tied in with um, what you've got. Because I think, you know, everyone always says, oh, acrylics and oils, you can change things, it's great. Watercolour is more about that kind of first hit, if you like. Um, so it is sort of nice if you can get a reasonably careful drawing done, okay. and then. Um, nice to see a, another familiar face who's joined us, uh, Robert, yeah. Robin Donnellan. Robin Donnellan, hello, hi Robin. That's uh, a familiar name. Can we? Painted before. Sorry, let me just again. Um, yeah, basically, I'm just doing a, a kind of light mix of uh, Naples yellow with a little bit of burnt umber. I'm just trying to get this tree sketched in and we're going to come back to that with some stronger stronger tones that just sort of settles in across here somewhere and uh, a bit of that it all looks a bit watery at the moment but fear not it'll get better but the main thing is Robin where exactly is Belina? So, yeah. I'm sure I've had this discussion before and I should know. So I've got a little bit of that. It's always good to have the tree growing up, getting thinner at the top. I'm just going to go over your shoulder slightly, just so okay. that... Don't worry, stay where you are. And then, uh, the advantage of having a mobile wife. The mobile wife with a mobile <laughs> phone, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm going to sympathise with you now because I've realised I'm finding it quite difficult working from two different photographs. Um, to work out what what I'm painting. I've gone literally from the original painting here because I quite like the composition um, but it's not <laughs> really the same as what we've got here. But anyway, this tree is in this picture so I'm going to start building this in and eventually, basically, it's, we're going to bring some leaves in and so on. Near Byron so, Bay. Near Byron Bay, of course, yeah. So, that's got that. The um, lucky guys that are going into summer. That's right, yeah. No. But then again, when we had the last lockdown, we were the ones going into summer and you guys were all going so, into yeah. winter. So it's only fair, yeah, isn't it? Okay. So I've got this, this base colour on here now. And yes, I would normally like lean back, have another coffee, let that dry. Uh, because you want to let that dry before you start painting on because it just... It's Otherwise it's just going to bleed. Yeah. It's going to be a bleeding tree. I'm going to take a moment just to yeah. sit and grab... Oh, my glass of water is too far away now. <laughs> Sorry. An overall scene, a shot of the scene. Okay. Uh huh. Give me two seconds. So, what have we got now? I've got, yeah, what I've done now, I've mixed up a kind of a darker mix because there's quite a strong. Uh, not quite dry though. I'm going to. I will come back and put a bit of some highlights in here. But what's, what's quite nice is having this big, strong. Let's have it a bit darker now. Come on. Oh, very brave. Um, because I've got two. I've got. <laughs> yeah, like I said I've got two photographs here, reference photographs, and they've both got different kind of 
shadows and things going on. But oh, you're not really um, selling this one. Oh, no, I no, mean, no. Every, everybody's going to go it's away from challenge. this one and go, do you know, I think we'll keep this as a watching challenge yeah. rather than a doing one. Yeah. But no, I mean, to me, it's like I said, it's an educational thing. And yes, you know, you, if you see a scene and you've got a, yeah, some nice holiday photographs when you were there, but you haven't got quite the right one, you can just, you know, make it up, uh, you know, um, improvise from the, from the pictures you've got. Um, you know, I don't think it hasn't got to be religiously um, exact as to what, what's there. No one's going to come by and say, you've got that tree in the wrong place. Hopefully not. Um, but so now I'm just literally just bringing that up. Got some nice strong shadows on. Unlike the Norwegian pines, the the Mediterranean pines, it's just it's not just one straight trunk, is it? They very yeah, sort of gnarly yeah, and exactly, they also yeah. call them an, an umbrella pine. Yeah, I'm not sure if these. I'm not sure if these are, are these not the necessarily not the umbrella really. pines. Um, what I've got just, like I said, you could spend hours now um, just doing little branches, just that fine brushwork, just having get very faint at the end. It's quite nice that it goes off the off the page. I mean, I'm not going to fill all that whole area with with pine needles. But what I'll, I'll try and do is just get the get the basics in. So I've got a, a little bit of paper. So I'm going to try and do literally just that that kind of action. It's almost like the, the palm tree, but slightly scratchy. I mean, there are obviously a thousand ways to paint um, trees, but this just kind of I think just gives. A relatively quick way to get the to get the effect. We're going to put some darker darker strokes in there. The thing, as I tell everyone, is keep it random. You don't have everything three of those, three of those, three of those. Um, so it's a flick from left to right and yeah, up and yeah, down and some branches come out a bit further. Some are kind of dead. And you really do have different techniques for every one of your trees. I think you need to do a. A tree, a tree yeah. tutorial, it's true. It's true. where you literally go, this is yeah, what yeah. I do for cypresses, this is yeah. what I do for pines, this is what I do for yeah, palms. It's, kind of like, it's good to just look at, the, look at the tree and see kind of what, what works. I mean, it's, it's very difficult because, I mean, like, you, like I said, you could be here for hours doing all these. And I'm just going to yeah, get that kind of rough idea. I mean, I might spend a bit longer. And then maybe then let's go darker. Let's go for a little hook is green, the dark green. And that's, that's Named that's, after? Uh, Ted Hooker, <laughs> who used to play for Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you once, you, you, no, right, was a, ironically, you once, yeah. I once asked you and you, you said William Hooker and then we looked it up and it actually was William Hooker. Yes. So he was a botanist. Victorian botanist. A Victorian botanist and obviously painted uh, a lot of greenery. Because in those days, of course, you didn't have photographs. So when these guys recorded and discovered new plants, yeah. everything had to be painted. Yes, right, yes. Could have been very busy in that era. Um, good. So now, so now, so I'm just putting a bit of dark in there. I'm in. Okay, this is February, so it's looking a bit dead. This is a bit fresher here, look. Um, but there's a huge contrast. There's, there's these branches. So build in a little bit of this kind of effect. Oh, there's some some little darker. What about the, um, are you going to, well. are you going to put any, I was about to say, are you going to put any cones put a few on? Cones in, let's have a few little cones here and there. Where do they go? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I might come back and um, add, add hours of... Uh, oh, uh, of course, Robin was on your Zoom class. That's right, yeah. I knew, because I wasn't at your Zoom class, so of course I've heard the name, and Sarah Leakey is very sweetly going. Sarah Leakey, Say yeah. hi to Robin Donlan yeah. from our former Zoom yeah. class students. There we are. Is it? So yeah, now this is all dried quite nicely now, so I'm going to put a few little darker pieces in over this side. So we've got a, an online reunion going on. Online reunion indeed, yes. Okay, so, so you're just putting a little contrast into the palm at the moment. Just here and there. Okay. That's okay, I think that's enough. I mean, yes, we should have some figures, but I haven't drawn any. But 
It's way too cold. Nobody's going to be in the sea oh, today. No, you're right. Um, that's going to, that's going to, let's just stand back and, oh, I'm going to put some bright in over here. So I'm going to I'll stand back with you. I'll go for the dark brown again. Quite, quite thick paint mix. Dark, so burnt umber and Payne's grey just to get the, I wanted to get a few, just a hint of a few things over here. It's you just, almost, sorry, just trying to get around your hand this time. You're kind of almost just, just touching the paper really with a, with a fine brush just to, so they, I don't want to join them up, but it's, it's quite it's sort of classic just to have a few overhanging branches in one corner, and I'll do that, build that up with some green as well. Don't come down too far, and now, oh yeah, let's have some more shadow on this palm tree. Yeah, these can kind of stay where they are; they're a bit further away, but that's that's got quite a nice. Chunky feel about it now, isn't it? A few more darks in the rocks. And we're taking shape. I think this whole tree could be, <coughs> excuse me, could be darker. But what I will do, I might just put some dappled, yes, let's have a go at that. Put some dappled shadows on the beach. So we're going back, hopefully we've got enough left over. The, that kind of grey and magenta mix. Try on a bit of paper. And I'm going to just, um, let's pretend you can actually see the tree trunk. I'm just sort of trying to get that kind of, that sort of dappled, yeah, let's go here. Dappled leaves kind of feeling. Across here. Well, there's yeah. also quite a lot of sort of stuff. I suppose it's Le um, the the needles that have fallen onto the sand That's as well, true. isn't yes, it? You're right. Yes. I mean, in many ways, it's quite. It's dark. The, the, what you want to try to do is get this to um, just kind of fade a little, so it's it's not quite. It's stronger at the tree, and then as you come away from the tree, it gets a bit more faded. But just uh, keep it sort of random. Take it off. Make sure you take it off the page here. Touch that oh, so you've actually... Just made that a bit stronger again there. Mm. So now I'm going to stand back and while I'm watching that all dry... Are you watching it dry or are you going to dry it? I don't know, I'll just put some, put some leaves in here. I've got the uh, same mix. I'll, I'll stick with the same kind of... Um, Sorry, I'm kind of all over thing. the place today. Yeah. Up, down, up, down. There we go. So yeah, once again, I'm just putting a, the hint of this kind of pine tree in probably slightly better health than it actually is. And uh, like I said, you can put quite a, quite a, quite a bushy, but it's, it's always best just take your time, stand back. Is that enough to, to hint at a tree here in the corner? It doesn't have to be a big ball of, of leaves. Sometimes it can get to, uh, can peel can get carried away. It's just a sort of that kind of thing for you. But also, I mean, these Mediterranean pines are, they're not massively dense trees, are they? You kind of can, you don't want to overdo it. No, that's it. I think. Uh, Otherwise, it starts looking like a Northern European tree. That's right. Yeah, right. So it would be nice to have a bit of light in there. Well, I might, like I said, I might yeah, come down a bit more. This is kind of nice if we can do that. But what I'll do. I'll just put it a little bit darker in underneath. So that's uh, perhaps a little bit of dark blue in with your dark green, and you can start to get a even darker, actually, a, a, a kind of br an old brush would be perfect for this because it would give that sort of a. So, where the random... bristles are a little bit damaged yeah, exactly, and kind yeah. of not. So don't throw away your old brushes. No, they come in handy. Um, so that's, it's not far up, actually. The, so what have we got? We've got that nice... Oh, I've still got some pencil mark. I might does that really that. matter? It does. You're right. It's a kind of sketch, isn't it? Um, we've got the nice sea, some reflections in there. The beach comes round. There is some texture. I might just put a little bit of line work in there. I'm trying to dry that because I think that should still be... Stronger. Should be stronger there. So let's just dry that off.
talk amongst yourselves. Sorry, I, I went into a little dream state for a second there. Be quite. I, I must admit, I'd love to just just go for a walk on on one of the beaches. Yeah. Maybe we should do that when lockdown ends. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But we're not quite sure when ours is going to end at the moment. They're talking about possibly opening the shops a bit to allow for some of the poor commerçants, the um, guys, to actually sell their all of their Christmas stock that they are you putting the building in now? Yeah, I'm just I should mention I'm just putting a little bit of burnt sienna. Let's say this. Oh, just hinting at a building again yeah. as well. Hey? Oh, might just work. perfect. Might just work. Might just work, yeah. And then let's get back to this tree. It's quite, actually it's, what's quite nice. It's a by accident. You get the kind of slightly reflected light. Yeah. I'm not sure if we can keep that. That's Don't get uh, rid of it too much. No, I'll try not to. It's quite. Let's just try. So this it says me. Who wouldn't have a clue? Let's go back to this one. This is a slightly better brush. This is an imitation sable brush, a number eight round. But it, it's got that nice, so you can get that kind of slightly flicky, very fine, and then a slightly bolder brush. I've always liked this sort of style. Okay, I'm not gonna come down all the way over there. Um, you can kind of keep it quite, Quite random here, really. It's kind of just want to get a bit really dark, just on the on the bottom there. What do you think? Yep. Like I said, now I'm <laughs> I want a bit more dapple shadow from something down here, but I'm I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, in fact, what time is it now? We're going to be finishing early. It is early eleven sixteen. So we've got a few more minutes, but... I At the same time, I've got a meeting. You got a meeting. Sorry. At 11.30. Sorry, guys, we've got to go. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. So, just to recap, we've got this um, the scene which I drew loosely based on these two photographs. Um, actually, I was there in, in the summer and I drew it and I missed this central tree out because I thought it was just too much, cutting everything in half. So it's quite nice to say, yes, we'll have that out. It would have been quite nice to have a little, a little thing in actually, wouldn't it? Should I put one in quickly? Tipper. Little bench. Or what is it? Like a little. It, I don't know. It's something stuff. to hang your horse from, by the looks hang of your things. Horse from. Oh, right. <laughs> or your bicycle. Yeah. I don't know. Um, they they seem a bit random, don't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. Um, Beach decoration. I, I might do that um, later on, but for now, that's the good thing. I just wanted to show you perhaps how to. We've got a lot of hearts and and um, and 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 thumbs up and all sorts of things flicking up the camera. Excellent. Thank you. I'm just going to see if I can find a, a bit of a bit of white. This might just be a bit messy. Basically, when, when I, I was proudly um, telling people to, to put a nice line in for their horizon. Um, and then I've probably painted over it as I swept along it. But I'm, oh, I'm not sure if this is going to be white enough. Oh. I'm going to have to find... Let's just uh, put some paint here. I'm just going to type a little retouch of white in on the edge. Have you not got <laughs> enough clean space on your palette <laughs> any really longer? Not. I'm just going to try that. It might just work. Um, so again, yeah, just hold your breath. You touch, retouching it out, darling. Yeah, there we are. Almost, Almost, hey? Yeah. That's okay. And uh, let's have a few little, uh, we have some little extra little sparkles. Maybe there's a hint. Well, I've got the white and a little, just a bit of surf rocking up. So, yeah. The purists will be gasping in horror at this exactly, moment in yeah, time. A little fade in there. Well, actually, I'm one of them here as well. It's a few. Just give it that. That'll kind of soften in. Um, and then I think all I would do, to be honest, would be to take 
take um Let's swing down here, right? Okay. But that's the extra shadow in there. I can retouch that. So I've got um, the trusty black and white, or oh, the black crayon. It's a watercolour crayon, but it's, it's just got a nice effect. So if you look at it, there's some nice little sort of textual little footpath coming in. We've got some, which is a hint of a few little stones and so on down here. Nothing too, too detailed. I, ideally, I'd dry this off and I could put a few little lines in it, maybe a little bit of line work here. Um, but yeah, just a few little, give you some shapes. There's a bit of debris left on the beach, washed up. That's a little, there's even some decking here, isn't there? Let's do that. Bit of decking. It's a, it's... Not quite a boardwalk. Not quite a boardwalk, no. So I'm just going to put this last little bit of, bit of shadow in there because it's just got a bit blurred. That's better. That's fine. I think I'll leave that. I mean, what, what you will find... You know I that... I will stop there. You know Is that better? Let me just <laughs> yes, I think move my chair away so that you don't look like you, uh, you've got a big yes. head. Yeah, you have a big head. So what, do you, what, do you, what we've got here, we've, we've got the sketch done based on Lucy on these two photographs. Put a wash of light colours on the beach and then on the sky and on the distant hills and then slowly come in with some stronger colours into the distance and then as you come forward the colours get stronger and you can start putting the shadows in. Um, and yeah, that's kind of grabbed the scene I think. I think we can call it a day. I think we can call it a day. But what I would like to do is... Um, uh, Please like this post and share it. Uh, it's, it's important that we all that we get the, the word out there. We're, we're We've had some bookings already, which is great for next year. Uh, thank you for those. Um, book now to avoid disappointment. And all being well, things will be flying smoothly. But yeah, to share and to like and give some positive comments would be uh, much appreciated. And then if you're watching the YouTube channel, which it will be later on, click down here to subscribe. Click here to watch the, a longer playlist and here to watch last week's video. <laughs> okay, great. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, any questions, just put it up on the Facebook post and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And if you do get a chance to do the painting, please send it in and we'll put a gallery together after the weekend. And okay. a goodbye from me behind the camera. Bye from behind the camera. Okay. Cheerio. Have a good day. Cheers.